Thus far, they've played 32, they've won 25, they've only lost four, mm. and they're 12 points ahead of second place Leeds. I mean, as an ownership, and you were the owner, when do you start planning for life in the Premier League? Are they already doing that at Leicester? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, they're a Premier League club that's dropped out of the Premier League. Um, they're the former Premier League winners, and they know what the Premier League looks like, so it's not going to be a surprise to them, and they, they know where to look and where not to look. The fact that they're now so far clear they would have already been looking at the preparations of what they think they're going to be doing next season. They know what the money's going to look like. They know where they're going, and then they've been there before. The interesting thing for their dominance of the league, it makes um, Rick Parry's argument about parachute payments and the uh, the dropping of the Premier League sides into the Championship as a foregone conclusion for who gets promoted, a, a stronger argument. But they're just a very good size. And there's, you know, there's a, there's, there's a few good sides in that division. If you look at that Championship with Leeds United and Southampton... And the teams that are in the top six, which are all, you know, former recent Premier League clubs, it makes the argument that others make. But they, you know, I would expect, unless they take their foot off the pedal, that they're going to get 110 points. And if you look at that sort of level of return, that's it's just absolute dominance, isn't it? It's another it wonderful is. example of one of Pep's guys, though, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. He, I don't think he'd had a first team job before. I might be wrong with that, but I think he maybe he has. But I, we didn't know much about him other than he was coaching with Pep. Mm. And the way they play. Well, it's good selection. I mean, it is, I isn't mean, it? There's always this tendency, isn't it? I mean, these guys, everyone's a sum of their experiences, aren't they? Everyone is someone that's yeah, but worked they play for someone. Like City side. I, I understand they completely they do. try and dominate possession. And there's, well, a, I mean, over the top. Yeah, and there's a brand of football that Burn, Burnley did, and obviously, you know, um, uh, Vincent Company was a captain at Manchester City both prior to uh, Pep Guardiola and yeah. during Pep Guardiola. Yeah. And so all those experiences come together. And of course, once upon a time, everybody that, that you know, bought Jose Mourinho a cup of tea was a Jose Mourinho, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, prodigy. You had the kid at, uh, I, I, was it um, Ita Marenka, wasn't it? That was at Middlesbrough yeah. and places like that. That was considered Karenka. to be, yeah, yeah Karenka, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Karenka. Yeah. Yeah, and we spoke about Leeds. Uh, they are trying, as everybody is, uh, to, to make chase on uh, Leicester. They leapfrog Southampton Leeds last night. 4-0 win at Swansea. Um, Credit Daniel Farker there as well. I, 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 yeah. they, they had a really tough start with the ins and outs and who was staying and who was going, and I think they lost two or three of the first six. I mean, I've said it before, Danny, it sounds silly, and it is silly, but Leeds United are Premier League side. We need them in the Premier League. Don't need anyone in the Premier League. You're, you're in the Premier League on merit. Premier League's better if Leeds are in. Right. Honestly. I, I, and tell me why. Well, I actually think that, but you tell me. I'll tell you why, because as a player and a supporter, going there is an experience that you should enjoy and, and love because they, it's it's rammed every time you go there. They, they're they really passionate about their team. And to go there as a player and as a fan, and I've done both, is a really good experience and better than others who are potentially coming up out of that league. Yeah. So as a, as a football man, if I'm looking at it as a player or a fan, I'm thinking I'd want Leeds to be coming. What's up. it like to go there and not playing a lead show? Yes, yeah, intimidating, but you get used to it the more you do it. I mean, we that, weirdly it's a weird experience. We ended up playing there a couple of seasons on the spin at half eleven kickoff in the morning. Um, because of certain policing yeah, issues and stuff, yeah. which was a weird one, but it was still bouncing. But they were great games. Yeah. They normally yeah. beat us, actually. Need leads up there, Simon. Do. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I've always maintained the view, and I said it uh, akin to what Danny said, was one of the most intimidating grounds yeah. is Ellen Road. Um, and one of the best atmospheres is Ellen Road. Um, um, you know, the, behind the scenes, the, the ballroom looks like it belongs in the 1960s, but that's irrelevant. The actual feel and fabric like of James that Like wardrobe. Form, yeah, well, 19, <laughs> Thank you. 1860s. Yes. Um, the idea that Leeds United deserved to be in the Premier League, well, they had. And this is why I keep making this argument about Palace, not to go off piste. This is a club of significant stature, Leeds United, that were out of the Premier League for 17 years and took a long time to get back and kind of throw it. They snatched defeat from the jaws of victory by landing back in the championship. Yeah. It's a huge club, and I do think the scale of that club should warrant being in the Premier League. And would would and I think there is an argument to say, that as a football person, with all due respect to other teams, I'd rather see Leeds United in the Premier League than Southampton. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.